everybody welcome to the channel today my name is Solomon and I am the third beard in today's video we are going to be installing the rear seat covers from rough country out of the kit the rough country neoprene seat cover kit uh, for a 2009 Chevy Silverado um, I already installed the front seat covers you guys have probably already seen that video and if you haven't make sure you go back and check that out um, we're gonna go ahead and install these rear seat covers I've already finished them. Let me tell you, they are a pain in the butt. I'm gonna show you kind of how I did it. I had to figure them out. There's no inf 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 uh, instructions. There is no YouTube information on how to do this. So hopefully this will be the very first video on this. Um, just letting you guys know that it is, it is difficult. You may wanna get somebody to do it for you. Uh, a shop or something, but I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, so let's get into this. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that bell notification icon and hit that subscribe button so you know when I upload a new video. And let's get started. All right, folks, so it's been a few days since I did the front seats, but we're going to go ahead and get those back seats in. So this is the back seat covers that the kit comes with from Rough Country and I've got them separated. So these are the sit seating part for the, the two seats that are on the driver's side. Then here's the backrest um, and then there's a little pull out uh, cup holder. That's where this part will go. Then we have two headrest covers here. Then we have the little pull-out drink cover, which I'm interested to see how this is going to work, but we'll figure it out. Um, and then this will be the part that actually folds up in, so it will actually fold up in like that inside there. And then this is the little singular seat on the passenger side. You got the seat bottom here and then the back. So we're going to go ahead and get these figured out and get these in, and I'll see you while we're doing it. The first step is easy, you just take the headrests out and you use a sharp tool to poke in the holes and lift them out. Alright, so as with a lot of things that I have been doing with this truck, and I've already done a bunch of other things to the truck at, between the time I did the front seats and now starting on the back seats, I'm not finding a lot of specific things for the 2009. And uh, one of the problems that I've ran into is... Uh, there is tons of YouTube videos on how to install the front seat covers, and I haven't found a single video on how to install the back seat covers. Um, and I, I even found a video in, of the installation on a on an actual um, crew cab version of the truck, and where they only showed the front seat. So I'm gonna have to wing it. So bear with me while we try to figure this out. Okay, so in order to get these seat covers on the back seat on because the hooks that go up on the top We're gonna actually have to take this seat uh, These bolts on the bottom of the seat off To get this so we can actually lift it up and off and get the top part of the seat cover on over the hooks There we go bolt did not want to come loose. I think that's the right one. I think that's part of the seat. It should be part of the seat. Maybe it's not. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, I took it off. I'll put it back on if it's not. <laughs> Maybe it isn't. I guess we'll find out. So anyway, I'm going to get these bolts undone and then we'll go to the next part, which is lift the seat up and over the little hooks. Ugh. Disregard that. That actually goes to the shoulder strap on the seat belt over here. So this bolt gotta go back in. That's not, it doesn't actually attach to the seat. So disregard that, that instruction. <laughs> like I said, I'm an amateur. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of having to wing it because I'm not, there's no real instructions to this. So sorry about that. All right, I got the back seat undone. Finally got the clips up. 
And let me tell you, that was a pain in the butt. Oh my goodness. Not happy with that. Not happy with these back seats at all. So, now we're gonna try to go ahead and get this installed. So like I said, front seat, back seat, the whole back, or back side of it, whole back side undoes like this. So, first thing we gotta do is feed this this way so it goes up underneath the seat belt. <coughs> Bring this on over like that. Then we gotta get the clips inside the holes like that. This has gotta go under this seat like that. Same thing over here. Bring this down because there is a opening. Oh, the Velcro is a pain in the butt back here, by the way. Get this to go in between the two seats. Oh my god, Velcro. All right, there. So that. Bring this down. All right. Now, I want this. This on the inside of it. Keep on going. Gosh, I hope this is right. No. That makes sense. It seems like it should make sense. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Bring that down here inside there, but this has got to go pretty far down, because this goes underneath this thing. Oh. Don't worry about that in a minute. Bring this up underneath, like this. in the bottom of this thing so shackles can fit inside it. And that will hold it like it's supposed to. And then this GoPro the bottom of the seat thing. Seat cover down. It's on the back. Tighten it up. Like that. Go to the outside or to the other side so I can get that. Okay. So I need to make some adjustments on this side. Just push in. Go ahead and close this on it. There we go. This can go under it. So I found myself having a lot of trouble around this cup holder console that pulls down. There's not a lot of room in there for you to be able to put your fingers in there to tuck all that stuff in. So I really struggled with this one, but I finally eventually got it. All right, now that we got this seat back on, Finally got everything put where it's supposed to go. Now I gotta do this one. I'm gonna just gonna drop this seat down. Oh, it's gonna be fun putting everything back. We got this back seat. Just one side of it, or one little individual one. Uh, obviously this tab goes in the back. Uh, don't have to worry about seat belts because this seat belt's attached up here. Just going over the top of it. I'm gonna lean it forward so I can manhandle it that we just put on and believe it or not that one was the least painful of the whole crew now we could probably go ahead and put the seat cover back or seats back in probably should but I don't want any more surprises so we're gonna go ahead and put the, the bottom seats on now Unfortunately for the single 
seat in the back I didn't get a very good video but we're putting the bottom seat cover on and it's pretty simple you just put it over and then use the straps to strap it down very simple okay so these are fairly similar um, the only difference is we have a few uh, ooh, that seat just fell out whew I'm gonna have to fix some things on that. But um, there's a few little like latches and stuff that we'll have to go around. That's okay. But same general consensus. We have the same, we got a bunch of different straps down under here. That's all right. So we're just gonna unhook all the straps Up underneath like this. Do the same thing. We're going to just get this all hooked to the front seat, part of the seat. Put this down into the bottom part. Oh, oh we're gonna have to do a little stretching over this part. There we go. Just like that. Put that down in there. Straps coming through perfectly. Just the way we want. Well, that's falling down a little bit. Let's loosen these straps down. Very careful. I don't want to smash my glasses. Okay. All right. Let's do the first strap. Lock that in place. Tighten her up. There we go. All right, finally got the bottom seat cushions on. Had to loosen this one up a little bit so I could get the seat uh, cushion fixed. Now we gotta put the bottom seats back on. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done off camera. All we got left to do is the little cup holder and the uh, headrest. We'll get that done soon and then this video will be over. So let's go ahead and get this part done. Okay, so we're having a little bit of a rainstorm here, but we got, we finally got everything buttoned up. The seats are put back together, which was fun. <laughs> I'll tell you what, this project for the back seats has been exhausting. Um, I didn't know what I was getting myself into, and to be honest, if I had to do it over again, I'd probably take it to somebody and have them put them in the end. But that's okay. So, we got two more things left to do. They should be the easier of the two. Well, maybe that little uh, uh, console back there, a little pull-down drink holder, might be a little bit of a pain just because we got to feed it up underneath, which we were doing earlier, and that was not easy. But I have the two headrests up here with the headrest covers, and these are interesting because there is no Velcro for these. These just fit over, so... Uh, we're going to go ahead and put those in. They're super simple. They just feed over like a sock. You just got to kind of pull them over. Feed uh, them like that. Make sure you got the front facing the way they're supposed to be. Just like a sock. Kind of adjust them as you go. Just like that. There you go. There's one, put that back there, grab the other one, make sure you got the front, so this is the front, this is the front, go ahead, once again, feed this over, Whew. tell you what, my hands are killing me, doing all this stuff, so, uh, if you've watched any of my videos, you know that I am an amateur when it comes to doing anything mechanical. Which means I also do not have a lot of tools. I did have a lot of tools. There you go. But I had them in this shop that you guys have been seeing behind me. You can barely see it. It's not watertight. And a lot of my tools just got ruined because... They got rusted out, which I'm really disappointed about. But it is what it is. Um, I'm getting ready to 
hopefully get a new shed installed and we're going to tear this piece of crap down because this is what came with the house and uh i'm hopefully going to start getting some new tools and start learning some new things and i'll take you along with me in the journey so let's go ahead and get these installed and get this thing this middle console installed and let's call this a video By this time in the installation, I was exhausted and my hands were hurting and I was really having a hard time tucking the excess up underneath this console so I could feed it through. Uh, and my hands are too big so I ended up enlisting the help of my wife who has really small hands and she was able to just push it up in there really quickly and grab a hold of it and pull it on through and uh, knock that part out really fast. And since I was so tired, we, we just went ahead and put the, the headrests on all right folks these stinking seat covers in the rear seats from rough country are now officially installed in the back of my truck um, they look pretty good got some complaints let's just say they are a pain in the butt to install. There's no instructions. Um, the only way I found in the 2009 Silverado to install them is you have to take the seat off. So you can lift up the hooks here in the back so you can get the back seat cover over them. Um, the center uh, little uh, console situation where you can pull down and have drink covers or drink holders I uh, forgot that's supposed to come out uh, that is a pain in the butt to install as well this whole situation is because there's not a lot of room in here to feed through um, but I finally got it figured out I had to enlist some help with my wife who had tiny hands and by the time I did this part my hands were killing me the easiest part of this installation was the headrest covers because there was no velcro at all you literally just slipped them on so that's the only non-complaint that i have i am uh honestly really tired oh i gotta feed, feed that seat belt back through all right everybody that concludes today's video on installing those rear seat covers the bane of my existence i hope this video was informative showed you guys a little bit on how we did them they were not easy, not by a long shot. I haven't seen anything on YouTube on how to really install them in a 2009 Chevy Silverado, so hopefully this video is the first video out there. Maybe it'll give you guys some ideas. Maybe it won't. Maybe it'll dissuade you from trying to do them yourself, and maybe you guys will take, them, take your seat cover kit to someone else so they can install them for you that has a little more experience. So... Thanks for joining me. There's going to be some more videos similar to this, how-to and stuff. A lot of really cool videos. Make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell notification icon so you know when I upload a new video. And until next time, I'll see you then. Take care. Thanks for watching the Third Beard channel. Here's a video selection and here's a playlist suggestion. Be sure to subscribe. Thank you.